Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 16th of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. So you download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so just basically a quick review here. Uh, in terms of Asian markets overnight, we have the Shanghai finishing down 0.3%. We have the Hang Seng finishing up an impressive 216 points, the Nikkei up 100 points as well. So again, Asian markets more or less overwhelming higher. We have oil prices certainly reaching a, a significant high. If I bring up the chart of oil here, folks, give you an insight. Okay, looking at crude, you can see we've uh, quite an impressive thrust here. If I go over to the four hour chart, you clearly see the move higher. Uh, we are now coming into resistance. Let me just clean this chart up for you. Okay, so again, we're just basically coming into resistance now. But given the situation in Kirkuk, you have the Iraqis and the Kurds basically fighting each other. Uh, Turkey's in there as well. Uh, obviously, Iraqi situation. Americans are in there. The Russians are in there. And it certainly doesn't bode well, uh, especially with regards to the Kirkuk oil fields. Okay, who basically co controls that. Any threat to supply, as we all know, uh, certainly helps oil. So oil prices pushing higher, certainly helping the FTSE as well. Also, we've had the move in regards to um, uh, the copper, the price of copper moving higher on the back of the uh, Chinese uh, Xi Ping, uh, basically... Um, uh, annual uh, meeting with regards to the council there uh, again indicating higher growth we've also had inflation numbers out of china as well coming in more or less than nine also we've had one of the pboc basically forecasts indicating that um, uh, indicating that uh, growth is obviously going to continue and therefore you are seeing copper prices higher as well look at the price of copper there from 3.12 pushing higher still pushing higher as we speak so commodities certainly surging okay commodities surging as you can see a four hour chart there and copper impressive thrust higher uh, ever since uh, for the 2.9 level, we've gone up to 3.2 now. Uh, this is on a daily chart. Let's go to a weekly, and you can see the weekly breaking out as well. So that certainly bodes well for equities, uh, especially the FTSE 100. So just bear that in mind, okay? Certainly looking for a potential thrust higher on, on, on copper higher, commodities higher, so oil higher, copper higher. FTSE certainly will be higher. We did have a bearish pattern on FTSE 100. Again, obviously, it's uh, more uh, led by the uh, the price of sterling, okay? So just bear that in mind as well. Uh, as you can see here, with regards to FTSE, uh, initially we've uh, closed the gap, closed the gap at 7.555, okay? Uh, closed the gap at 7.555, okay? Uh, and uh, certainly finding resistance ever since. Now, the daily chart at the moment, you're clearly seeing resistance here, but bear in mind, commodity is certainly surging, therefore you are looking for uh, the uh, price of FTSE certainly to remain afloat. It's going to be very hard for me to be bearish on the FTSE 100 base now on that premise, okay? Especially with Asian markets moving higher. Obviously, Chinese uh, Mr. Ziping conference as well, annual. Uh, and again, they are talking of growth. Okay, that's the say status quo there. The other bearish news with regards to Europe, you've had uh, Miss Merkel certainly being uh, dealt another blow. Uh, Merkel says lower Saxony election results do, does not weaken her CDU position in coalition talks. That's certainly when one of her politician states uh, has to reiterate and confirm that it will not obviously weaken her position. It basically means it will weaken her position. Okay, so that's certainly uh, some political uncertainty there as well. Uh, again, Catalonia concerns certainly remain because the uh, chap there doesn't ha hasn't actually confirmed whether he wants independence or not. He just wants to do a debate. Also, we've had an article over the over the weekend with regards to a QE limit of 2.5 trillion. I think they've already done 2.2 trillion, so technically there's no point three trillion left. Again, they did mention that they are going to be cutting QE in half. So again, that certainly is risk negative for equities. Uh, again, Social Democrats beat Merkel's Conservatives. Again, that certainly is risk ne negative, which I've already discussed. Uh, also, with regards to the Aust Austrian uh, right-wing uh, party, certainly uh, elected, so radicals, extremists, certainly being ele elected, and again, that certainly goes against Miss Merkel's obviously uh, current philosophy. Uh, German wholesale prices certainly rising. That's helping helping the euro, euro price, euro USD. Uh, initially, did sell off overnight, but again, has started to pick up. If I just bring up a chart on the 60-minute basis, and you can see here, sell sold off now, starting to pick up now off that uh, potential pivot low, one point one seven eight three, has tested one point one eight one seven. Uh, although it has rejected the highs here, so it's bear that in mind as well. Okay, certainly rejected those highs. Okay, so again, commodities are strong. Um, currencies are certainly weaker initially, over the dollar obviously catching a bid to a large extent. Okay, and that really remains the status quo in terms of uh, uh, fundamentals. Other than that, economic data wise, we've had the uh, ECB, uh, your EU uh, trade balance data certainly coming in stronger than expected. Uh, German wholesale price is stronger than expected as well, so that certainly is helping the euro to a large extent. And bear in mind, the euro is above 1.18, and therefore you are starting to see some sort of a pressure exerted there. And also, obviously, with regards to QE as well, uh, certainly going talking against QE, any further QE, and again, that's risk negative for equities, especially 
uh, German and European equities. Okay, so let's see where the markets lie now. Let's look at the German DAX first of all. Daily chart at the moment. Let's see exactly where we are. Uh, daily chart still breaking out higher. Bear in mind we are at new highs. Okay, so again, don't get overtly bearish. But having said that, obviously with the end of QE or not end of QE, but certainly QE being cut back certainly isn't exactly a bullish scenario for European equities. So bear that in mind. 60 minute chart still has that HNS formation, although we did actually push above that. Uh, above that fib 75 percent so just bear that in mind i'm going to negate this hns for now okay certainly doesn't fit my criteria because the right shoulder certainly has surged okay let's see how we uh, respond again for now resistance will be 13 or 40 okay let's see if we can get conviction above that 13,000 level uh, our 10 minute chart let's move on to a 10 minute chart we still have unfilled gap below okay so the unfilled gap is at 12,990 so you don't need to go back below uh, 13,000. the bulls certainly are keeping this afloat Obviously, resistance remains at 13 or 36, and the pivot high today at 13 or 26. So, 13 or 26, 13 or 36, key, key, solid resistance zone for the German DAX. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next indices now. Let's go on to the French CAC. Let's see exactly where we stand here. Daily chart at the moment. Uh, again, from my perspective, it's just consolidating for a bear flag scenario on the daily chart. So, bear that in mind. 60 minute chart at the moment. We're basically uh, holding resistance for now. Uh, the most important thing here is that we haven't made a higher high, okay? If anything, we're making lower highs. So from my perspective, it's just basically, you can see here, we're looking for a bear flag, looking to crush, get crushed from the downside. From my perspective, you do have an unfilled gap at uh, 5,268, and then you have another unfilled gap at 5,242, and then another unfilled gap at 5,214. So a lot of unfilled gaps below, and we've not made a higher high, we're making a lower high. Therefore, from my interpretation, that certainly is risk negative. 10 minute chart on the uh, the actual French CAC at the moment. We're certainly holding resistance here at 5370. I have bounced back, bounced from here. Okay, just bear that in mind. Uh, you do have obviously support at current below at uh, 5350, and you have support further low at 5344. So let's see how that unfolds. In terms of the FTSE 100, daily chart at the moment, you've had a bearish, well, to a large extent, bearish candle, but we are now pushing back. We have a held resistance at 7555. Again, just watch out for that key zone. 60 minute chart has an HNS formation. Okay, has an HNS formation. Again, the only way the FTSE can get flushed here now is if sterling starts to rise considerably. Uh, we do have comments with regards to Theresa May and Juncture today, uh, apparently referencing some sort of autopsy. Okay, either way, it's a circus at the moment with regards to Brexit. Let's see how that unfolds. Just bear in mind the bear, bear flag. Okay, uh, having said that, it's going to be very hard for me to justify a short. On the FTSE with the uh, oil and copper rising quite significantly, which I've already shown at the start of the video. Uh, so again, I'm going to uh, hold my uh, bearish thesis for now, especially with Asian markets higher as well. Euro stocks, last but not least, again, you're holding resistance here at the key 361 buy zone. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment. We did have HNS formation that's been negated now, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay, for now, again, the focus remains at that potential double top, especially with the end of QE as well, comparing back with QE, Austrian. And um, Austrian election again, uncertainty. Merkel, German election uncertainty. Certainly does feed through through the negative narrative, bearish narrative, okay, for my interpretation. Okay, so that's certainly the summation of European equities. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.